it's me, your girl, Maya J. Thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in. And happy Sunday. I'm starting the vlog off. And as you guys seen, we had a slow morning, a slow Sunday morning. I made some iced coffee, which was really good. I had um, a grocery pickup from Walmart that I put in last night and picked it up early this morning because I did not feel like going in the store. So we did a grocery pickup and you guys also seen where I spent a little time um, watching Pastor Keon Henderson. Well, actually a lot of time, like I could not pull myself away from it this morning. I watched Pastor Keon Henderson on YouTube live and a time was had. <laughs> if you caught it this morning, a time was had. It was really good. So, you know, if you're looking for, I guess, a church home or if you want to watch someone on YouTube instead, check out Pastor Keon Henderson. He was really, he was really a blessing. I'm glad I tuned in this morning. So, you guys seen that. And now I'm about to head out to the museum. I just want, you know, just a slow, chill day. So I'm going to go to the art museum today and I'm going to take you guys along with me. So that's where we're headed to now. Um, so I'm all showered and dressed and I just have one, another chill outfit. Um, I got this top from Old Navy. I've been wearing Old Navy a lot. Or I, I think I have uh, more Old Navy pieces than I thought I did. So um, it's this ribbed knit top from Old Navy and it's very comfortable and it's kind of cropped as well and then I just have on some blue jeans I'm gonna wear some tennis shoes because I know it's gonna be a lot of walking as well and I did not do my hair as of yet <laughs> I didn't do my hair as of yet but we'll get to that later in the week um so yeah that's where I'm headed to and I did want to show you guys, well, if you watched my last vlog, I showed you guys some of the hygiene products that I picked up. And this was in the First Aid Beauty Kit that I showed you. And it's the Smoothing Body Lotion. Y'all, when I say smoother than a baby's bottom, like this stuff is the truth. And I'm almost out. Well, I'm pretty much out. Um... It has, it's kind of gritty. So it's like kind of an exfoliant and lotion in one. So I don't know if you can see the graininess of it a little bit, but yeah, smoother than a baby's bottom. So I definitely have to get a bigger size, but that's what I'm gonna use on my hands. And I went to Marshall's yesterday and I picked up a perfume because I was walking past and the perfume was just standing out to me. So this one that I did pick up and brought home, look at how beautiful this is, you guys. Like, look at the packaging. So it's indulgent moments and the notes are neroli and sea salt. Like... Do you see that? Can you see that? <laughs> but yeah, so the packaging is what got me. Like they had a lot of fragrances where the packaging was just beautiful. So it's a neroli and sea salt um, scent or fragrance. It's very close to Gucci Bloom in the pink bottle. It's very close to that, but y'all, it smells so good. So when I seen it, I sprayed just a little bit and then I walked around the store and I was like, oh, I got to go back and get that. So, and it was $14.99. $14.99. And this is a 4.2 ounce. Like, you guys, it smells so good. So if you're randomly in Marshalls and you just happen to see this, Pick it up, $14.99. Like, you can't beat it. And it's a perfume. Like, it's, oh my gosh. It smells so good. So, <laughs> I picked that up as well. So, that's the fragrance for today. 
And yeah, y'all, we're just going to head out. We're going to go to the museum. And then most likely, I'm just going to come back and cook dinner. I have a taste for some baked spaghetti. So I'll show you guys how I whip that up also. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your Sunday or whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys a little later.
Hey, you guys. So I'm back home. As you can see, I got comfortable and out of those clothes. It was a nice day today. Like the weather has been confusing. So yesterday it was down in the 50s. And it was super cold and today it's like close to the low 70s and it's warm outside so everybody's outside trying to enjoy the weather i had a good time at the museum i only stayed there for like an hour it didn't seem like an hour though but either way i was only there for an hour and i really enjoyed myself it was really packed in there <laughs> it was a lot of people in there but they had a lot of nice uh things new things i think the last time i went to the art museum maybe a year ago i'm not sure or maybe it was the maybe it was 2022 i'm not sure but either way i had a good time and seen some beautiful art which i definitely appreciate so um now we're back home i stopped to target really quick just to get some essentials for the week and stuff um they do have their target circle sale going on it started today and it's ending on april 13th so if you're into target if you love target like i do go ahead and go to target and get some of those deals if you have the target circle app so you have to have the app and, you know, put your phone number in um, at the register and everything at checkout. So um, I did get this cute plate from there. I thought it was really different dinner plate and it was only $5.99. But it's like a gray stone color. I thought it was really cute. So I did pick that up amongst um, a few other things. Like I said, just some essential. So. I have been having a taste for this baked spaghetti for a while. <laughs> I think all week I've been thinking about this baked spaghetti. So we're making this baked spaghetti today. Okay. So I have my water going for my noodles so they can boil. Um, and so I'm making, I always use ground turkey for my spaghetti. So I have ground turkey and I have some mild ground italian sausage if you like a little spice in your spaghetti you can get the spicy um so i have my noodles and i also season my ground turkey with this mushroom spaghetti seasoning pack so after i put after my um ground meat is done and i put the sauce in i season it with this and it gives it so much flavor. It's really good. So I use this, the Italian mushroom spaghetti packet. And then the sauce that I use is the ragu chunky tomato, garlic, and onion sauce. So I don't make my own spaghetti sauce. I always get this one. It just has a lot of flavor in it. Um, yeah, it's just really good. So if you don't buy your if you don't make your own sauce and you just want to buy something really quick, try this one out if you haven't already. And then I already, I got already shredded cheese because I'm not shredding my cheese today. <laughs> I'm just not. Like, I most of the time I shred my own cheese, but not today. So I got sharp cheddar and I got Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to make... Um, like a middle layer with like the boars and cheese and sour cream and parmesan so i'll show all of you i'll show you guys all of that a little later when it's time but yeah i got all my cheeses my sauce and all that stuff so i'll show you guys how i put this baked spaghetti together so your girl can go ahead and eat dinner okay <laughs> so i'll get up with you guys in a second once i get the noodles in the pot Okay, you guys, so we have our meat sauce going on. So again, I used ground turkey and I used ground Italian sausage. I seasoned my ground turkey with adobo, 
some garlic powder, and some Italian seasoning. And that's it. That's all I season my ground turkey with. And then I added my um, ground Italian sausage. And now we have our spaghetti sauce in there. I did cut up some onions as well and add it in here because I like my spaghetti sauce to be chunky. Like I like a chunky spaghetti. So this is our sauce and you can add as much as you like. It just depends on, you know, how saucy you want your spaghetti. I feel like if you're baking it, then you need a lot of sauce. So this is a good amount here. I'm going to add just a little bit more. And I did drain my meat as well before I put the sauce in because I don't like greasy spaghetti. So make sure you drain your, your ground turkey. Okay, so. All right, so now that we got the sauce going, I'm going to add in the spaghetti packet again this is the italian mushroom spaghetti packet and so i'm gonna just add that in and it depends i might not use this whole pack because we want flavorful food but not salty you know so i'm gonna add that in there and then I'm going to taste it. And don't be scared to taste your food as you cook. Because I'm going to taste mine. <laughs> I'm going to taste mine, okay? And I might add just a little sugar as well to cut down on the acidity. All right, so I think that's a good consistency. Like I said, if you're baking your spaghetti, then you want a lot of sauce because some of that sauce is gonna cook down. All right, so I'm gonna taste it. Mm. That's actually good. I'm going I'm to just go ahead and add the whole thing. <laughs> That's good. Alright, so now that it's all incorporate it then I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more because the sauce packet actually helps thicken the sauce up also so I'm gonna let it you know simmer for a little bit and then we're gonna put put it over our noodles and in the meantime we're gonna get our cheese layer ready all right, so I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, y'all, so now I'm making my cheese layer. So this is not my recipe as far as the as far as this step. So I'm gonna leave the guy's YouTube channel or um, username in the screen somewhere. So first, you're gonna start with some sour cream. And this is an eight ounce. So I'm just gonna stir that up and add that in there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. And this is if you don't like ricotta cheese. Or if you don't like, uh, what is it? Is it cream cheese? So this is if you don't like either one of those. 
Okay, so we have our sour cream and then we're gonna add borzen cheese. So this is the garlic and herbs. So it's the borzen, borzen brand. And this is what it looks like. So you actually add this whole block in there. Ooh. Okay. All right, and then you just, you know, mix that all up. <clears throat> so it's kind of like a lasagna, but baked spaghetti. <laughs> Cause you're adding this layer and this is really good like that sour cream just gives it so much flavor so if you've been wanting some baked spaghetti like i have try this cheese layer and add it Okay, so now that that is all mixed up, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese. However much you like. And then you just stir that in. And this is basically it. So it's the sour cream, the boars and garlic and herbs cheese. And then you add some Parmesan cheese. And then you can also season it a little bit. I'm gonna put just a little bit of garlic powder in there. And a smidge of adobo. Just a little bit. <clears throat> and y'all, I've been tasting that sauce. Honey, delicious. Okay. So now that it's all incorporated, it's ready to go so you can add to your spaghetti. And I'm going to show you guys how I layer it. And then we're just going to go ahead and put it in the oven so it can bake. And then this, it's nothing but cheese and sour cream. So if you want to taste it before you, you know, put it onto your spaghetti, then go ahead and do that too. But I think we're good. So let me go ahead and start layering everything and show you guys too. Okay, so I went ahead and added the first layer of spaghetti. Um, before I put the noodles in, I did add a little sauce to the bottom of the pan and then just put this layer. So now you're going to take your cheese mixture. And just like you would a lasagna with ricotta cheese, you're going to do the same thing with this. Just put it right on top. y'all i've been in here tasting <laughs> it don't even have to go in the oven for me to eat it like it is so delicious i want to make sure i get all of that mixture okay and then you just do like that And this mixture smells so good too. And it's literally, honestly, like a lasagna. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to add the second layer and then i'm gonna add my cheese and i'll show it to you guys before i put it in the oven 
all right you guys so this is what it's looking like before it goes in the oven i put my cheese on top so it's sharp cheddar cheese and then i remember i had some italian style cheese so i put that on the bottom so i'm just gonna add some italian seasoning on top so it can be pretty instead of parsley All right, and then I'm gonna cover it and put it in the oven for three. Um, I'm gonna put it in the oven on 375, excuse me, and I'm gonna cover it and then uncover it for maybe 15 minutes and let it cook some more so the cheese can get, you know, nice and brown and stuff and golden. So let me go ahead and put this in the oven cause I'm ready to eat y'all. And there it is y'all finally out the oven when i tell you i'm about to tear this food up i am hungry so i put it on 375 and it's now 7 30 so it's been baking for an hour because i put it in at 6 35 so it's been baking for an hour and i took it i took the cover off of it the last 10 to 15 minutes so yeah y'all let's cut into this and get to eating Okay, y'all, so the moment of truth. It smells and looks so good, and you know I had to get a corner piece. <laughs> it smells so good. So let's try it. And I put it on my new plate that I got from Target today. Ooh, look at that smoke. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like that. <laughs> mm hmm. Really good. Everything is just perfect. It's perfect. All right, y'all, I'm going to go enjoy this. If you cook today on this Sunday, I hope your meal came out wonderfully. I'm going to go eat, and I will catch up with you guys later tonight. I'm going to enjoy this. Okay. Hey, y'all, so it is about that time. It's the end of the vlog. Like, where does time go it has escaped me and I cannot get it back. <laughs> like the weekend, it's it's a 30 minute lunch break, honestly. Like it just goes by way too fast. But if you made it this far into the vlog, I really do appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And it's honestly 11 at night. Um, so I need to take off this little bit of makeup and get in the shower and go to bed because it's been a long day. I've been up since way this morning, so I'm I'm winded. I need to go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, so I didn't really have much, you know, planned for this week or well, this weekend. So, you know, you guys just spent the day with me, you know, going to the museum and cooking dinner you know, all of those good things. Just really just having a slow day because life throughout the week is so fast. The weekend is so fast, you know. We just in we just deserve a slow day at least once a week. So I hope you guys had the chance to do that today or whenever you're watching this. And this week for sure I'm taking my hair down. <laughs> 
I'm taking my hair down and I need to wash it. Y'all, I just, I don't know what to do with it. Sometimes I want to cut it. I don't know. Maybe I'll make an appointment and get somebody else to do it. Because there's this um, natural hairstylist. She has a salon and it's right literally around the corner from where I live at. So maybe I'll make an appointment with her it's one day and, you know, she can do my hair instead of me doing my hair. And then, like, my face is breaking out. All of that stuff. But we'll get it together one day. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did enjoy this content, go ahead and show your girls some love. And hit that like button. And also hit that subscribe button as well to join our growing community and go ahead and show some more love and leave a comment in the comment section as well. Let me know how y'all feeling and I will see you guys in the next video. Good night. Don't, don't play with it. Don't be decided. Still not